using a calculator to find unknown angles. Let's look at some examples of what we can do to find unknown angles. We already know that we have three basic trig ratios. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. When I'm looking at this picture, I need to find angle A, which is here. This side is opposite angle A, so I'm going to label that as the opposite side. This side here is the longest side across from the right angle. That's our hypotenuse. So we have the opposite and we have the hypotenuse. If we look at our three trig ratios, we're going to be using the sine of theta. So the sine of theta, or angle A, which is what we have in this picture, is equal to opposite 0.1287 over hypotenuse. 0.5625. I'm now going to use my calculator to find the quotient of these two numbers. I have 0.1287. I'm going to divide that by 0.5625. And I'm going to get 0.2288. When I write that down, I have to remember that that's not the answer for angle A. That's the answer for the sine of angle A. In order to find angle A, we need to use our second sine button to get the arc sine. So I come back to my calculator, I hit second sine, and I get 13.226433303. But remember, that's in decimal degrees and I want degrees, minutes, seconds. And in this case, we're going to round it to the nearest minute. So first I'm going to hit second and come up to degrees, minutes, second. And I have 13 degrees, 13 minutes, 35 seconds with the one left over. But if I want to round to the nearest minute, I'm going to make that 13 degrees, 14 minutes for angle A. So remember, you're going to divide, you're going to find the arc sign, okay, by hitting the second and then the sign button. Then you're going to change it to degrees, minutes, and seconds, and round. In this case, we're rounding to the nearest minute. Let's look at a second example where we have to find angle CAB. Angle CAB is the same as angle A. This is our opposite side. This is our adjacent side. So in this case, I have opposite and adjacent. Looking at my three trig functions, I'm going to need to use tangent. So I have the tangent of angle A is equal to opposite 1.658 divided by adjacent 2.25. Again, I'm going to divide. I'm going to clear my calculator first. Put in 1.658 divided by 2.25 and I get an answer for the tangent of A of 0.7368 and that 8 repeats. But that's not my answer. I need to use the second tangent button in order to find angle A. Second tangent gives me a decimal degree, which I do not want. I want it in degrees, minutes, seconds. So I hit second degrees, minutes, seconds, and in this case, I'm going to round it to the nearest degree. If I round this to the nearest degree, I will get 36 degrees, since 23 minutes is less than half of a degree. So remember, when you solve these problems, you need to find out which side you have. Opposite and hypotenuse, adjacent and hypotenuse, 
opposite and adjacent. Choose the right ratio, do the division, use your second trig function, and then change your answer into degrees, minutes, and seconds. Let's say someone gave you this print and you had to machine this part and the top dimension is 0 .640 and it's TYP typical so it's on the top and on the bottom and this dimension over here is 0 .258 and that's also typical that's also on the top and on the bottom. Let's draw this over here make it a little larger and you need to find the angle over here this is angle X. So this is 0 0.640, and this dimension is 0 0.258. What is angle X? So Katoa, where do we have an adjacent? It's adjacent to the angle that we want to find, and opposite. Adjacent and opposite is tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So tangent x equals opposite, and that would be the opposite side, is 0.258 divided by 600. 40. Let's go to our calculator. Let's clear it. So it's 0.258 divided by 0.64 equals. So tangent x equals 0.403125. Now we've got to use the invert button. This has a second on it. Second, and remember the press tangent, not sine, cosine, but remember this is tangent, so make sure you press the right button, tangent, and that equals 21.9555. But we want to convert that decimal degree in degrees, minutes, and seconds, if there are any seconds. So again, we hit the invert or the second key and get that. So x equals... 21 degrees, 57 minutes and 20 seconds. Since it's less than 30 seconds, we're going to drop the seconds and just go to the minutes. So be 57 minutes. So this angle over here is 21 degrees, 57 minutes. And if we wanted to find this angle, all we would have to do take 180 degrees, because that's the sum of all the angles in a triangle, Deduct 90 and 21 degrees, 57 minutes, and we'll give you this angle. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play, and we'll continue with the next lesson.